Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. In most of these videos, you'll see me flying an assault frigate called the Ishker. This is mainly because it's my favorite ship to fly, but it does perform quite well in the Garista Hideout and its escalation Soothsayer. Combat signatures appear in your probe scanner window, and you must scan them down with probes before you can warp to them. Some combat signatures do not have a DED difficulty rating, and instead have a chance of escalating to a short story-based expedition. The Garista Hideout is a combat signature found in all systems with a security status of 0.8 and lower throughout Kaldari space. This site has a decent potential for either a faction spawn or an escalation, either of which may lead to high-value loot drops. I was quite surprised to discover that the Garista Hideout does not seem to have gate restrictions, as it apparently allows even battleships to enter. You will land directly on an acceleration gate, which you must activate to enter the first room of the site. The first room starts with two small groups of Garistas NPCs, each located near a lookout structure above and to the left of the acceleration gate to the next room. Each group consists of up to two frigates or corvettes. Destroying the initial ships will spawn a new group to the right, with up to two more frigates. The acceleration gate to the next room is locked, requiring that all NPCs in the area be destroyed. In the second room, you'll land in between two bunkers to the left and right. Ahead is a large Garista's experimental weapons tower. The room starts with a small group of up to two Garista's frigates behind you, near a lookout structure. Another group of up to two more Garista's frigates will spawn shortly after, near the right-hand bunker. The spawn pattern in this room is quite unique. If you ignore the Garista's NPCs in Experimental Weapons Tower, a new group of three frigates will eventually spawn below the left-hand bunker. This appears to be on a timer roughly two minutes after landing in the room. Destroying this group will spawn a new group of three destroyers in the same location. If you're lucky, this group will also include a Dread Garista's frigate. If you attack the Experimental Weapons Tower, a pair of light missile batteries will appear flanking the left-hand bunker. Destroying either one of these light missile batteries will spawn a group of three Garista's frigates near the bunker. You have two opportunities to trigger an escalation to the Soothsayer Expedition. The quickest approach is to destroy the Experimental Weapons Tower. The alternative is to hope that the Dread Garista's frigate appears with the destroyer group. The Dread Garista's NPC will always drop a Dread Garista's copper tag, and either 1,000 Garista's light missiles or rockets, or 1,000 rounds of Dread Garista's small charge ammunition. If you're even more lucky, it may also drop a Dread Garista's module, a crystal or hydra implant, or a single run blueprint copy for a worm. If you're lucky enough to trigger the Soothsayer Expedition, the message will appear. Garista Commander Destroyed. Determining Probable Origin Point. Found. Updating your journal with the location. As with all unrated expeditions, Soothsayer will have you travel through up to four encounters. Each encounter may either continue to escalate or come to an end. Escalations will appear on the Exploration tab of the Agency window. For the first encounter of the Soothsayer Expedition, you'll land directly on a newly constructed acceleration gate guarded by a group of Garista's NPCs. This group consists of up to eight frigates and destroyers. There's a reasonable chance that one of them will be a Dread Garista's frigate. This and any other Dread Garista's NPC in future Soothsayer encounters may drop a Dread Garista's module, a crystal or hydra implant, or a single run blueprint copy for a worm. Destroying the Dread Garista's NPC has a chance of escalating to the second encounter of the Soothsayer Expedition. In the case there is no faction frigate on the initial warp-in, you can ignore the NPCs and simply activate the gate. A few moments after landing, you have a chance of being awarded the escalation. Your sensors pick up the Garista's trail and provide you with a set of coordinates to their probable destination. In the room behind the acceleration gate, you'll briefly see a trio of Garista's NPCs way off in the distance before they warp away. One of them is named Iha Hidaki. In the second encounter of the expedition, you will again land directly on a newly constructed acceleration gate guarded by a group of Garista's NPCs. This group consists of up to eight frigates and destroyers. 
If you're lucky, one of them will be a Dread Garista's frigate. Destroying the Dread Garista's frigate, or in its absence taking the Acceleration Gate, has a chance of escalating to the third encounter of the Soothsayer Expedition. Again, you warp in too far, and the Garista ships slip away into space. Luckily, they leave a predictable path. Much like the last encounter, in the next room you'll briefly see a trio of Garistas way off in the distance. Iha Hideki, who apparently added an extra eye to his name since you last met, continues to elude you. In the third encounter of the expedition, he will again land directly on a newly constructed acceleration gate. This time it will be guarded by up to eight destroyers and advanced frigates, with Dire in their name. The Dire frigates have a stronger shield tank than regular frigates. If you're lucky, there will also be a Dread Garista's frigate. Destroying the Dread Garista's NPC, or in its absence, taking the acceleration gate, has a chance of escalating to the fourth and final encounter of the Soothsayer Expedition. While fighting the two ships you managed to catch up with, the third one got away. Your instruments gave no clue as to where it was headed, but just before it vanished, you picked up a distress signal from it, containing this location. In the room behind the acceleration gate, you'll once again see Iha Hideki way off in the distance. He once again slips away, but his escort of two frigates is in fighting range. In my experience, the final encounter is usually in a system with a 0.5 security rating, which is still in high security space. You'll land amongst a number of large asteroids. A group of ten frigates and destroyers will be above and behind you. Taking out this group will spawn a second group of up to three frigates. Once this group is destroyed, Iha Hideki will spawn by himself. Destroying Iha will prompt the closing message of the expedition. Obviously, the distress signal made it through to the intended recipients. This was quite a reception. In any case, there are a bit less drug runners in space after this encounter. Iha Hideki may drop one or more Dread Garistas or Pithy C-type Dead Space modules, or a Worm Blueprint copy. A ship like the Ishker, fit with railguns, will run the Garista hideout in about three minutes. For newer Caldari pilots, a Merlin fit with railguns, or a Kestrel fit with light missiles, will work almost as well. Because there do not appear to be any gate restrictions, and the experimental weapons tower takes a fair amount of damage, higher DPS ships will do well in this site. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the statistics for 30 Garista hideout sites. Over this period, 8 of these spawned a Dread Garista's pirate, and 7 escalated to the Soothsayer expedition. Of the eight Dread Garista's NPCs that spawned in the Garista hideout site itself, only one of these dropped anything beyond the faction ammo and tag. The Soothsayer expedition can escalate up to four times, and each encounter has a chance of spawning a Dread Garista's pirate. The faction spawn is guaranteed if you make it to the final encounter. Through my seven escalations, I had a total of 17 encounters. Eleven of these had a faction spawn. Only one of these dropped any loot worthy of mention. In this case, it was Iha Hideki himself, with a Dread Garista's rocket launcher. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides. In high security Caldari space, you can also probe down other unrated sites like the Garista Lookout, Watch, or Vigil. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, The Serpentis, Angel Cartel, Blood Raiders, and Sancha's Nation. Throughout 2020, I completed my guide for the High Security Serpentis combat sites. If you find yourself in Glent Space, you can check out those videos right now. You can find all of my EVE Online content in the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. This includes sections that I'll be expanding upon in the coming months for high security combat sites, and the Cosmos missions and sites.